Gross. Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you from my private Serpentarium tonight, bringing you my top five favorite tarantulas that I have in my collection right now. Number five, Acanthoscuria geniculata, also known as the giant white knee. This female just molted. I love the beautiful coloration on them, the very stark banding, the long hairs. I just think they're so cool. I like how giant and robust they get. They are notorious hair kickers, but Janiculata, I love you still. Number four is the magnificent Monocentropus Balfouri. Fawn is my favorite color in dog, and buckskin is my favorite color in horse, which is that really beautiful tawny brown and coal. Belfry actually do it one better, and instead of that beautiful charcoal gray as it looks under artificial light, is actually an incredible blue. I hope you can see that under my artificial lighting, but Monocentropus Belfry, you drive me crazy. You're so beautiful. Number three is an animal that took me forever to acquire and one that I have really enjoyed growing up. That is Ephibopus cyanonathus, also known as the blue fang. And as most of you all know, when they are little, they are green with the electric blue fangs. And as they grow up, they become this beautiful earthy brown with the gold banding on the patella with a royal purple fang. And they also make super duper neat tunnels, which I just think is awesome. I know this habitat looks a little bit creeped out right now, but that's how she likes it. So who am I to judge? Number two is Avicularia versicolor. I would say this is my favorite species, but there is one that I do love a little bit more, but I really do love this species. Number one, I have a heart for it because I've been to the Caribbean in their natural habitat and it just is so amazing there. And that area is being decimated, which breaks my heart. I love the way they look when they're spiderlings, when they're blue. I love the way they look as adults. They're gentle, they're fluffy, and I just, I mean, they're so incredible. A pink, purple, and green tarantula? Come on. Can it really get better than that? But it actually can. Let's take a look at number one. Number one. Chromatopelma sinopubescens, also known as the green bottle blue, as surely you can see why. Now, are there other tarantulas that I love so, so, so much? Yes, of course there are. I love them all. There are so many incredible species out there. And you could give me the most plain looking, run of the mill animal. And believe me, I could find something beautiful about it because they're just really amazing creatures. I love, I could just go on and on. But, green bottle blue. They're incredible. That's my top five right now, pet tarantulas in my collection. Hope you guys like seeing these amazing creatures brought to you by the DTG, and I will see you next time.